already on their blocks the women for the four by 400 meters there's linda keogh in the background but out on her blocks at the moment is sally gunnell these are the girls that await and great britain drawn in lane seven inside them hungary in lane one finland in two the soviet union one of the favorites here against east germany in three west germany in four then france then east germany uh, who've had such royal battles with the Soviet Union in the past. That's a Hungarian girl in lane one, who is Edith Molnar. That's their team, Zabo, Batori and Forgash. Great Britain, Sally Gunnell, Jenny Stout, Pat Beckford and Linda Keogh. But these are powerful squads from the Soviet Union, West Germany and East Germany. There's Surnaki, who is a 400-meter hurdler. 56.80 for 400 meter hurdles, so she's uh, talented. Vina Gravada of the Soviet Union, and uh, we've seen her run 51.38 this season. Very quick lead off Soviet athlete. She got over, she'll hand to, and then Rutsina and Ledovskaya, who was the gold medalist in the 400 meter hurdles. West Germany, Karen Janka, their German 400 meter champion, to Andrea Thomas. Helga Arendt and Silky No. The French have Fabienne Fischer and then uh, Dorsili, Elian and Peres. This is going to be a very tightly contested. I, although the East Germans have a magnificent squad with Manuela Der, bronze medalist, 51 45, uh, and Hesselbart and Schersing and young Grit Brewer on the final leg. I think you'll find the Soviets might give them uh, quite a tussle as they did in the Olympic Games when they beat them. Here's Sally, Essex ladies. Uh, disappointing finish in the 400 meter hurdles. Just balked at that last hurdle when she was running so well. Not had her best season, Commonwealth champion, but uh, she's solid and reliable and will be chasing Regatta Aibi of Switzerland. And they have uh, the great Anita Protti on the last leg, silver medalist in the 400 meter hurdles. So the women already for the four by 400 meters, the penultimate event. The sun is shining, although there are dark clouds about. It's a, it's a lovely evening, there's not a lot of wind. And uh, the sun is shining and it's raining, so there's a rainbow somewhere. In fact, it's dark at one end of the stadium and light at the other. One can't imagine that uh, this East German squad can be beaten with that sort of lineup, but uh, I think it'll be closer than many people anticipate. Ah, looking for that rainbow over the back of the stadium there. There's the giant diamond uh, vision scoreboard. There it is. So, Hungary, Finland, Soviet Union, West Germany, France, East Germany, Great Britain and Switzerland. And we're looking at the Soviet girl, Elena Vinogravada. Vinogradova, I should have said. Now remember, they run the whole of the first uh, leg in lanes and the second bend. And it's Molnar of Hungary that's uh, closed right down on the Finnish girl. And, but they have to keep their lanes here. And West Germany have closed on France. Karin Janka having a very good lead. But the East German girl looking solid. And so too is Sally Gunnell. Steady and reliable. She'll watch this woman on her inside and know that uh, she will pace it well. And she'll try and blast it now. And this is quite a good run. Sally getting a good kick at the end and running in well and we'll see how they hand over east germany slightly ahead but she's got away from the swiss and she's got away from the soviets or no they're just about level as they take it. it'll be interesting to see what happens as they come off the bend as jenny stout comes off this bend she knows she's got the east german ahead of her and she's got the west german ahead of her and now she's got to chase the french and the soviets sally gunnell's leg 52-1 so from third on that exchange they suddenly find themselves in fifth and west germany go ahead west germany's andrea thomas leads east germany this is surprising but hesselbach has gone onto her shoulder now and takes the soviet runner with her 
That's uh, Gigalova and Hesselbart having trouble holding on. And Jenny Stark making a punishing run from home and getting past the French girl. This has put the British back into contention. The West German girl is fading and Jenny Stout's having a very, very good run. This is a terrific run from Jenny Stout. If the baton say Pat Bedford's got it and she ran well in the heats now, is she brave enough the Soviet goal got in away? And bought to by a yard and a half. Jenny Stout, 50.7 to bring them back into that now. Can the West German girls got back into the race and Pat Beckford, who uh, is being pushed hard by the French girls, so the British are back in fifth again. From third to fifth in an exchange and half a leg. The French girls having a very, very good run indeed. That's Evian Elian. And suddenly the Soviets are back on the shoulders of the East Germans again. They do battle with them so well. These two have got away by 15 metres and Britain's Pat Beckford is coming back a little bit. Saved herself and gets up to the French girl's shoulder. Gets up to the West German girl's shoulder and brings it back into contention after the early start. It's East Germany, Soviet Union and then Great Britain's Linda Keogh. And she's being chased by the West German girl. The West German girl has got about five metres. And look at this battle of Vinogranova. The Soviet girl, Lenovskaya, gets past. Grit Brewer, now can Grit Brewer do anything about it? Beckford's round 51-9. There's a real battle on for third. And uh, it's the French girl getting past West German. Linda Keogh is back in fifth at the moment. Soviet Union's Ledovskaya, Grit Brewer, the individual champion, holding her pace. There's a real battle going on. Linda Keogh holding back a little bit. Look at it coming wide. Grit Brewer goes past the Soviet girl. Linda Keogh goes past the French girl. Linda Keogh, the French girl comes back. It's Perez. Linda Keogh comes back again. And hard all the way. East Germany, Soviet Union. say she got the bronze the team got a magnificent bronze my word it was a battle all the way down the straight with the French and the West Germans and Linda Keogh ran 50 seconds dead the fastest leg in the team and that was that was a British record leg that's the fastest we've had since Cathy Cook running 400 meters the whole team is may well have set a British record as well so what a quartet put together, but my word, this 18-year-old kept her cool, did she not? Grip Brewer holding on to a terrific leg by Tatiana Lidovskaya, the gold medalist in the 400 meter. Now, this is the last 500 meters. We've got uh, a terrific battle developing. Watch the last exchange, because it's Schersing coming in ahead of the Soviet Union's Ritzina. Then running wide, we've got Pat Beckford and Linda Keogh getting away. And this is the battle. Ledovskaya chasing the youngster and giving her a real roasting down the back straight. And Ledovskaya must have thought that that two metre coming up to two and a half metre was enough. And look at the kid come back. 18-year-old Grip Brewer. It's the two individual gold medalists against one another, the 400 metre hurdler against the flat 400 metres. And watch this 18 year old for a cool head. Look at her put the brakes on. She doesn't want to come too soon. When she kicks, it has to be the one and only kick that matters. And Leno Sky's head goes from side to side. Now look back. Look back at Linda Keogh getting past Perish. Look at her getting past the West German girl as well. It's a terrific leg. If it holds on the line, look at it here. Hold, 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 there's the bronze, and we think a United Kingdom national record for yet another medal, and the sun's really out there shining for this British team. It was a magnificent team effort that brought in that bronze.